law in that area is very interesting as well. And they're called either relocation cases or move away cases. And it could happen in a situation where parents uh, share 50-50 custody or one parent has 70% custody and the other parent has 30% custody. But let's assume that the custodial parent or one parent wants to relocate. Well, the court's going to first determine, is that parent moving for good reasons? Or are they moving just to interfere with the relationship? So assuming there's a good faith reason for the move, then the court addresses all the factors that bear on a child's best interest in relocating or not. So in a relocation or a move away case, the court has to assume that dad is living in one geographical area and mother is living in another geographical area. And then a decision has to be made based upon lots of different factors, such as the child's age, their developmental needs, their relationship with each parent, the parent's relationship um, with each child and with one another, the child's relationship to the community they're living in, where they're moving to, the distance, whether if they're moving out of the country, is there going to be a cultural difference and a language difference? So there is a whole host of factors that the court needs to address and weigh very carefully in deciding what's in a child's best interest. So those cases can be extraordinarily heart-wrenching because a parent, even if they have 30% custody, if a parent is going to move to another country, it's going to dramatically change that relationship. But sometimes a parent needs to move because of a new marriage or new relationship or a new job or for the support of their family. So all those things have to be balanced. And with respect to the non-custodial parent and the parent that is left behind, the court needs to accommodate that parent so the parent can maintain a relationship with the child. So the one piece of advice I can give to parents that do seek to move away is if you want to move away, have a very good reason to want to move and make sure that you are able to demonstrate to the court that you will facilitate the relationship with the non-custodial parent if you are successful in moving away. The worst thing you could do is to go to court and to badmouth that parent, especially if there's not good justification to do that, because that is going to significantly reduce your chances of getting custody. But with that being said, those are one of my favorite cases to try because they're factually intensive and they're interesting, and you really get a lot of insight into the family and the dynamics of the family. Mm -hmm.